Yeah, so I'm back um, with another video and I wanted to share something with you all that I sometimes struggle with. So one of the things that I struggle with as a believer, not a religious person, but as a believer is when I'm adamant about what I believe in my God, sometimes, and I'm talking to someone, sometimes it can come off a little bit more aggressive than I would like for it to. This is just an honest, you know, I don't want to call it a struggle, but it, it it's an honest, this is just being honest, oh, an honest, transparent moment. And so like, I am the type of person where God means everything to me. But I, I also am the type of person where I'm like, Lord God, I don't want to deter somebody from hearing the words, even if they don't believe what it is that I'm saying. I don't want it to be that I'm not able to still plant the seeds because I'm so up here that I don't know how to come down. And so I'm praying that God gives me um, balance and the spirit of wisdom as to what to say and how to say it and when to say it, okay? Because when I start talking about the Lord, it's just like, it's up here. And I was having a conversation and it kind of got up there and then I had to bring it down. But then I was still like having the conversation and I'm like, stop, like, don't do that, sis. Right. This is for somebody. This is not just my word, but the Holy Spirit needs no validation. It will stand alone and it will speak for itself. Now, God will use us, you and I, use his words, use visions, visions, use dreams, use many different things to get his word out there to the to the masses. And we all know who for those who read your word, that Holy Spirit can't come, Christ can't come back. Christ can't come back. The Messiah, our Messiah cannot come back until his word has been established in all four corners of the earth. And sometimes you have to be okay with not winning them all. And I'm like, Lord, I'm okay with not winning them all, but I think sometimes it gets a little bit, sometimes it's a little bit different when it's people that you love. And it's like, man, how can you not see? Especially when they say, hey, I wanna see. And it's like, man, but God is sitting here having a conversation through a vessel that's willing to give you the information. And so when that information is not received, sometimes that can just put you at a place where you're like, uh, you know, so God, continue to pray for me. Con Lord, continue to help me because, you know, um, I don't want to offend, you know, um, I don't, everybody's not going to get it. And I had to explain, explain that to my son too. Um, what were well, one of my sons? that everybody's not going to get it at the same time. Everybody's not going to to gather the information. Um, maybe they've tried God, maybe. But see, God is not something that you just can try. God is an experience. He's a relationship and an encounter that you have to be intentional about, right? And so that there, okay? So God's working on me. I, I'm I'm human, you guys. Let me let me tell you, I'm human, and he he is he's working on me in a way where I can really do the with love and kindness. Have I drawn the maybe not to perfection, but the way that God would be pleased? Okay, and I guess that's perfection, honestly, because I don't want to count myself out of an opportunity to plant a seed into someone because you're not held accountable for what you don't know. 
You're held accountable for what you know. And so that's that. So this, that was just my confess. These are my confessions. Lord, that was a confession of mine that I wanted to share because I'm human too. And I'm not completely all the way there. You know, it is what it is. I may offend some people and it's fine when I'm, you know, giving the word and I'm addressing things with the word. But when I'm just like, well, you should believe in that. You don't have to believe if you don't want to. The time will come. The Bible says the day that you hear my voice, heart not your heart. So I just got to do my part. Okay. My part is getting the word out there and planting the seeds. That's for somebody. But today the Holy Spirit spoke to me and I know that this was the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. And he said, they will worship your God. He said, they will praise your God. Now, that can mean a plethora of people, but I know a conversation that I just had with someone and it was kind of pulling on my heartstrings a little bit because I'm like, Father, okay, okay, you got it, right? And you know how you're going to get them. And the funny thing is I had had a dream about this specific individual and there was a painting that was before me and on the painting it was like painted it was colors at first but then it was like a I ended up painting this black paint over it not realizing that you know it was even black paint on the painting but the word said later now remembering that my timing is not God's timing my thoughts are not his my ways are not his but all things work together for the good of them who loves God to those who are called according to his purpose. God reminded me of a word that I gave like last week or maybe two weeks ago. And it was talking about um, King Nebuchadnezzar. Now that word was talking about pride comes before mighty fall. But God led me str strategically back to Daniel 4. Um, Daniel 4, I'm going to read 34 through 37. And it says, and at the end of the day, Nebuchadnezzar, I might be burning this name up, messing it up, y'all, but bear with me, okay? Um, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar lifted up mine eyes unto heaven. Because he remember, he had to be humbled. Go do the best backstory. Read, read. Okay. Read, read it, read it for yourself. Okay. So. It's heaven. And it says, and mine understanding returned unto me. And I bless. So he lost his understanding because God took him to a, through a place. This lets me know that God can take you through a place and take you through a moment in time where your mind can be gone and he can turn you over to yourself or put you at a place where you are caused to literally be where you are because of your own way and what it is that you want. Lord, hold another word. I wasn't even going there, but we thank God for the word. Okay, and it says, and my understanding returned unto me. That means your understanding can leave you based of your own will, right? And I bless the most high. Now, mind you, Nebuchadnezzar was not blessing God prior to now. And I praised and honored him that liveth forever. He, he, he was not acknowledging Christ. Well, who is this God and blah, 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 blah. And God was like, I'm about to take you through a storm. You're about to go through real quick one time, right? But then I'm going to bring you back to yourself. Because you will know that I am Lord. And so let me read on. And it says, And I bless the Lord. 
I mean, and I bless the most high and I praise and honored him that liveth forever, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion. God of all gods, king of all kings. That's not in there, but dominion is everlasting dominion. Everlasting. This is even until the ends of the world. Okay. And his kingdom is from generation to generation. Who gave him that wisdom and knowledge? My God. Which lets me know I don't have to do it. All I have to do is plant the seed. All Daniel did was plant seeds from interpreting dreams, letting him know before that only you can get this kind of wisdom from the Holy Spirit, right? Not what this word about word is about, but track with me. And so then it says, and all the inhabitants of the earth are, are reputed as nothing and he doeth according to his will. They will praise your God. In the army of heaven. And among the inhabitants of the earth. They will praise your God. And none can say. And, and none can stay his hand. Or say unto him. What doest thou? No one can say that. Because we know who our God is. They will praise your God. What God am I speaking of? You got many gods of this world. You have many gods of this world. But I'm talking about Yeshua HaMashiach. Yahweh Shah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Messiah. That's who I'm talking about. Yahweh, the Rock HaKadosh. Inhale, exhale. I'm talking about that God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And then it reads, and the same time, and the same time, my reason, that means your reason can be gone. You wasn't even reasoning well. You thought it was you doing what you was doing. And God had to take you and let you know that this, this, this is not true. He said, and at the same time, my reason returned unto me. Bro wasn't reasoning well, because remi remember, he had a condition that was a mental illness that caused him to think of himself as an ox. Now, the Lord can bring upon you many, many things because you want to be what you are, but not the reason of this message. But they will praise our God. So his reasoning came back unto him. This is a good word. And for the glory of my kingdom, my honor and brightness returned unto me. All these things returned unto him when he acknowledged that Jesus Christ was Lord. Which lets me know God can take you down to your lowest low. Just to bring you back up to your highest high. Because he wanted you to give him all glory, honor, and praise. He wanted you to know that it was going to be due to your name, to, to his name. And they will praise our God. So then it says. And my and my counselors and my Lord sought unto me and I was established in my kingdom and excellent majesty was added unto me. So let me tell you how the blessings of the Lord make you rich and out of no sorrow. So where you think that you are doing something out here because you think you have faith and you think you believe or you think that you are it. God's like, let me show you that you're not it. So that I can show you that I'm it. And the reason why you are it and will be it is because of me. And yes, it is because you took action. You chose to believe. You chose to have faith. 
You chose to step out on a limb. You chose. Mm -hmm. And then it says, and now, now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the king of heaven. Okay. The king of heaven and all whose works are truth. God's word is true. Nothing that he does is a lie. He cannot lie. And his ways, his judgment, and those that walk in pride, he is able to abase. Those who walk in pride, God's like, how dare you walk in pride? I need you to understand that I am the Lord thy God. And I change it not. I am, I am infinite. Is it if not infinite? I'm, 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 I'm infinite. Hopefully I'm getting that, that, that word right. I'm sorry. But I need you to understand he is who he is. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. It's not his will that any man perish, but it is his will that we be in good health and that we prosper, even as our souls prosper. He never said that we won't go through anything. But the moment that you get in the way of what God did and is doing and his creation and how he, and you said you want to know him. And he's like, well, I'm giving you opportunity to know me, but you keep pushing me away. He said, woe unto you who don't believe. Not even that. Let me go to the scripture. Cause this is the scripture that I gave to my son because Thomas needed, Thomas needed to see that, 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 that there was a God and that this God that we were talking about who rose up from the third day really existed, right? Track with me, you guys. I'm coming. John 20. So it talks about, it says, and after the eighth day, John 20, and this is verse 26. And after the eight, after the eight days, again, his disciples were within and Thomas with them and came, then came Jesus. The doors began, to, the doors being shut, I'm sorry, and stood in the midst and said, peace be unto you. This is what Jesus is saying. And then he says in 27, and it says, then said unto Thomas. Now, this is Jesus speaking. Reach hither. Thy finger and behold my hands. So touch my hands. And reach hither thy hand. And thrust into my side. Be not faithless. Be not faithless, which lets me know there are going to be people and there are people out there who don't have faith, right? Who believe that they have faith. They have faith in what they can see, but the things that you can see, that's not faith. It's what you can't see. He said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, right? So he told Thomas, he said, be not faithless, but believing. But he had to touch God's hands and he had to thrust his side to, to know that this is a true and living God. But this is what he said. He said, and then, and, and this is what the word says. And it says, and then Thomas answered and said unto him, my Lord, my God, Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because you know you had doubt in Tom. That's his name. Doubt in Tom. Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. But blessed are they that have not seen and yet believed. That filled me up so good. Blessed are they that have not seen and still believe. They will praise your God. They will praise my God. They will praise our Lord. Thank you, Father. You are the one true and living God. 
And I get so adamant because I know that you live. I know that you died. I know that you rose. And I know that you abide on the inside of me. This unwretched flesh. This is this, this flesh that messes up all the time. That can't get right. Who reminds me why I can't do it on my own strength. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I pray that this word has touched somebody's heart. And I pray that those who don't have a relationship with Christ, that you get to know him. Give him a chance. And if you've given him a chance, try him again. Because that last situation wasn't meant to, to break you down or lose faith. Something did it and the enemy knew what it would take. But God knows what it will take to win your heart. He wants to win your heart. We thank you, Father. I thank God for this moment and this time and this word. This word will not fall on deaf ears. And this word shall go out to the heart's and the ears that need to hear it, and it will soften the hearts of man because God loves you so much. And this word will and shall bear witness with your spirit in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I touch and agree with you in this moment that you shall get everything that God wants you to have as you are obedient and as you draw close to him. He said, if you draw near to me, I will draw near to you. I love you all so much. I'm your girl, Danny Royal from DannyRoyal.com. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I really, really appreciate you guys for just being patient with me and just for rocking out with me. Continue to pray for me. My health is still doing what it's doing, but I trust God. I love him. I worship him. I adore him. He is amazing. In every season, in season and out of season, he is. And they will praise your God. Remember that at the mention of his name, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess over the heaven and under the heaven and on the earth that he is Lord. I love you guys. I'll see y'all on the next video. Have a blessed day. Peace.